And welcome to your Go Market update and charts of the day for 27th of March 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets here to lead you around what's happening in markets. Of course, on Friday, US equities recovered from early losses to make broad-based gains across the board. All indices ending up in positive territory despite concerns remaining about the banking sector. Let's see how that plays out during the course of the week. US futures are positive in early Asian trading and Asian indices are following that US lead in trading higher. ASX up around 0.4% today and European equity futures are pointing to a mildly higher open. And the VIX suggests some calming is coming into the market. It's edged back below that 200 EMA it was sitting above for most of last week. US dollar index rose a little bit on Friday after a drop through support slightly down in Asia. And gold has paused just below 2000. Copper closed the week higher overall, although did edge lower a little bit on Friday and all retests support. Bitcoin continues to pause below resistance and 10 month highs. Uh, it is a quiet day today with little of note apart from German business climate data. PCE data is the weekly highlight, which is at the back end of the week. Of course, that's an inflation measure that the Fed is very interested in. Let's have a look at a couple of charts that caught our eye today so far. If we look at the GB pound yen on the daily chart, you can see this level of interest that I've put on the chart around about 159.65. Uh, this is support now. We've had several tests of this level through last week. It's looking like a descending triangle. It was resistance here, support here, support here, and support back here as well. So this looks like a pretty critical level. If we breach this, we certainly could be down through 158 into the 157 territory. If we look on a 30 minute chart, you can see we did have a little bit of buying coming into this at the start of the session, but we've given that up in the last hour or so. So just keep an eye on this level. And as I said, we could see it down to test 159 in the first instance, and then perhaps even down to 158.36, which was Friday's low. On the ASX, we're getting very interested in AGL. We had this big pop up on Friday with high volume candle. We've got some continuation of that today, and it's actually moved through the 200 EMA, which is really positive. May get stuck just around about this 760 level. Uh, but if we do breach that, then obviously we're back up towards $8 as the next key technical area of interest. Trade safe, and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.